everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to share with you a super quick handy tip for crocheting with your ends so you don't need to weave them in. Now I'm not talking about crocheting over your ends, I'm talking crocheting with your ends. So this is a super time saving tip for you guys. I do this a lot, particularly if I am making a blanket with lots of frequent colour changes. If this is your first visit to my channel, it would be amazing if you just took a moment to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. All right, let's jump straight into how to crochet with your tails. Now this method is very secure. If you try and frog it, you'll realize what an actual nightmare it is to undo again. So <laughs> it is great for blankets. So I'm just gonna finish up my final stitch of this tiny sample and I'm going to bring in the color which I'm changing to. Now, leave yourself a generous tail as you pull through the new color to begin the next row. So you can see here, I've got quite a generous tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and turn my work. And I'm gonna start crocheting with my working yarn and the tail. Let me just snip this white so that one's out of the way. This one you will have to weave in. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my normal double crochet stitch with my working yarn, so the yarn attached to the ball. And I'm gonna go into this first stitch, yarn over and come back through and I've got my three loops as normal. Now I'm going to hold my tail end with the working yarn for this first yarn over. So I've got the two tails together, pull them through the first two loops, then drop the tail and finish your stitch using the working yarn. Again, go into the next stitch, just using the yarn, I'm just lying it down like that. And then for this first yarn over, hold the tail and the working yarn, pull it through the first two loops, drop the tail, and yarn over with the working yarn. So you keep going for as long as you have tail. So I've crocheted it in, you can't see it, crocheted it into the first four stitches. So it's just for that initial yarn over you want to use the tail and the working yarn. Then when you've got just a tiny little scrap of it left, pull that up so that the working yarn comes at the back, pull it back down again, and continue crocheting. Now if I do a few more stitches, you'll see that it doesn't really add any extra bulk to your work. So you can't see where you've crocheted in. This you're good to just snip and that is it. It's nice and secure as long as you have a long tail to work over several stitches. This technique works for any stitch, it doesn't have to be just a double crochet stitch. This one you will have to weave in or if you wanted to you could crochet over that bottom tail part way and then weave it back the other way. I'm not a fan of just crocheting over tails and then snipping them because they will always work their way back out again through general wear and tear. Whereas this way, it doesn't come out. Now, just to show you the extra security of it, I'm gonna frog back my stitches and you can see straight away it's starting to catch. I'm getting quite a lot of resistance from that tail. It 
tail that I crocheted in as well. So it's quite difficult to frog your stitches back when using this method. So it is a pretty good time-saving tip, particularly if you're doing lots of frequent color changes. Just crochet that first yarn over with your tail and the working yarn. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this super fast video. It would be amazing if you shared it with somebody who you think would also enjoy this little time-saving tip, hack, ends, however you want to describe it. And let me know in the comments down below, is this something that you currently do? Is it something that you will now start doing? I really enjoy hearing from you guys and I do my best to try and get to every single one of you. So until next time, happy crocheting.